Therefore, get this is the question number E from code forces around the 49 and 4 negatives and positives. So, what is the question? We have given an array of n elements, and uh, we have uh, we have also given one operation. What is the operation? We can choose any two adjacent elements like a1, a2, a3. We can choose any two elements, and we can change their sign. Sign means if it is positive, it can become negative, and if it is negative, it can become positive by j by by taking two elements. Okay. So and uh, we have to ma uh, we have to print the maximum possible value of value of some sum of the array. Okay. <clears throat> so this is our question. So how we can do this? So let's take one example like one, two, three, four, five, minus ten, minus two, five, minus three. Okay. This is our array, and we have to, we want to maximize this. So I would uh, I would say that means this is minus ten. So how can I means I want to I want to give this minus to the lowest possible value. So how can I give this? So I can choose uh, these two things. It will become minus, and this will become plus. Now I can choose this. It will become plus. It will become minus. Now I can choose this. So it will become plus. It will become minus. Now I can choose this, and it will be minus. So after seeing these things, you can say that you can travel. You can give negative value to any any of the any of the any of the AI. Means this minus will, is located here. So after doing any uh, this uh, this uh, this operations, I can I have traveled this negative to here, so I can give the uh, I can I can give this negative value to any AI. So you have to understand this. Okay. So if you have if you have even number of negative numbers, means uh, like minus one minus one, so you can cancel out those things by by doing one operation plus plus. And if you, why I'm saying even number. Because uh, if you have, if it if if it is separated by some positive integers also, like minus two, three, three, minus two. So what can what can I do? I can choose two, these two things, and it will become plus and it will be minus. Then I can choose these things, and it will become plus and it will, this will become minus. And then I can cancel out. So it is for two. So you can get for four, six, zero, eight. So for if if there are even number of negative numbers, then you can cancel out and you can print the absolute value of. Uh, we can print the so you can print the sum of all absolute value of AI, and this will be the answer. But what is the case when there are odd number of negative numbers? So for that case, like uh, you have minus, uh, like for let's, let's let's take some test case, like you have minus three, ten, two, minus ten, five, minus ten. Okay. So if you have uh, even number of uh, uh, if you have odd number of uh, negative numbers, so th this is uh, this is sure that one negative number will always be there in our array. Okay. So I will try that. Like I will choose these two things and I will cancel out this. So I have uh, left with one negative value. So I can travel this negative value to the any integer. So I would say that that I will give this negative value to the minimum possible absolute value of a. And in this in this case, the minus three is not means the mod of minus three is greater than mod of two. So I will give this minus this negative value to this. Okay. So this is the only uh, this is the only uh, say that this is the only solution of this question. So if uh, if you have even number of uh, negative values, then you can then you can cancel out every every negative value, and you can make it positive, and you can print the absolute value of AI. Some i equal to zero to n minus one. Okay, and if there are odd, then you can take care of uh, minimum absolute value of uh, array and give this negative value to this and make every element positive and then print the sum. So let's see my code and then you will let then you will have better understanding what I have done. Okay. So this is e. So let's come to the code. This is a very simple question. If you have, I'm sure if you have if you have observed this thing. Okay, so this is I have taken integer. I have taken an integer input. And I have, yes, now I have taken integer input and one array. This is count will will this count will take care of my negative how many negative values are there and this is minimum minimum I have declared to the int max because I want to take the minimum number. Okay, and I have taken input AI and if AI is less than zero then I will incrementing my count. Okay, and this is minimum variable. 
which will store the minimum possible minimum value of all ai okay and i am doing some plus areas of ai and if count modulo to equal to zero means there are uh, there are negative values of uh, even number there are even number of negative values and i will what i will do i will i will directly print the sum means if this is this is the case for odd and this is case for even if there is even i will directly print the sum and if it is odd then i will do sum minus minimum minus minimum why because let's say you have minus one two three four so what is the sum of all four plus three seven seven plus two nine and seven plus nine plus one ten okay so i am i am talking for absolute value okay so if i will do ten minus one it will give me nine okay so i am decrementing one two zero and then i will decrease my this minus one means this this will be minus two into mini because first of all i will i will decrement my absolute value and then i will also decrement by negative value okay so this is very easy okay, if you have read the question if you will uh, if you will uh, write the test case then you will see that uh, this is very easy question okay i have got to